hi hello welcome friends in this video we are going to discuss about mutual funds so at the CA final chapter 8 mutual fund so what is learn means what we learn out of this chapter we will learn about what is basics of mutual funds and classification of mutual funds types of schemes exist in mutual funds advantages and disadvantages of mutual funds and terms associated with the mutual funds and evolution of mutual funds roles of fund manager in mutual fund and roles of fii that is foreign institutional investors in mutual fund it's all concept we will get get the now so come to the point first of all what is meant by mutual funds so mutual fund means they will pool money what they can do pool money from whom they will pull money from investors these investors may be retail investors or salaried employees or different different persons who have want to invest in mutual fund they will invest in mutual fund so what they can do from pooling invest after they will do invest in the shares securities debentures bonds wherever they want they will use the they will invest and after that they will get some dividends or profits now so that profits are dividends it will distribute so this is the work will done by the mutual fund what they will do pool and invest and distribute this is the mutual fund for whenever they are distributing means to to they are distributing the they will collect some management fee so for that we need to calculate management fee that expense ratios will be calculated and for here they will pool money and they will for pooling money they will get amounts and if they want uh, investor want money they will redeem so for redemption or subscription they will use nav that is net asset value for that net asset value we will discuss how we will calculate the nav value in different cases and we have this is the main scenario main question main introduction so mutual fund is a trust that pull the resources from investors to make flurry into investment in the capital market and thereby marketing the investor to be part of it owner of asset of the mutual fund so here the fund he is managed by professional person so who will manage that fund professional management person so who have more knowledge than this who is the individual investors they will have much knowledge on that investments or who can money collected from various investors in stocks bonds or other securities according to stated investment objectives so they will state the objectives so this fund which objective he is there they will invest in real estate or they will invest in infrastructure or they will invest in purely on debt or they will invest in data so sorry debentures or they will view that objective what is the fund objective they will provide and if the value of securities where the scheme has invested into goes up and returns on the investment goes up and vice versa so the net income earned on the funds along with the capital appreciation of the investment is shared among the unit holders so in proper in proportion of the units owned by them mutual funds is therefore a vehicle for the investor to invest the capital market now what will be happen here the fund is there they will pull money from the investors and they will invest and after that they will get the return this returns will be pay back to investor this is what happen in the fund houses so the fund houses will charge the fee on basis of value of assets for managing and administering that fund so they are managing the fund na so that managing the fund they will charge the management fee now mutual benefit here investing in capital market via mutual fund he is an expert's job in the present market scenario so a regular and systematic investment into mutual fund can deliver good returns in the long run so that is why two crores investors have faith and invest in mutual funds so now nowadays there is day by day increasing in this mutual fund field happening what is a mutual funds mutual fund means what a mutual fund he is a trust that pools the saving of numerous investors who have share common goals so here the investors have the common goal and the 
mutual mutual fund is the most suitable investment vehicle for the investors as it offers an opportunity to invest in basket of diversified securities which will be managed by the professionally qualified managers at relatively low cost so they will charge the low cost amount and so can we mutual can trust which pool resources from large number of investors they will issue units so they will collect money na from this investors and for that persons that investors they will issue some units and they will invest in shares so mutual fund trust will get the shares and they will issue the units to this investors and they may invest in capital market instruments or money market instruments so capital market in- instrument means whether it is a for long term investments money market instrument means it is low short term here la- uh, money ma- uh, capital market means shares debentures bonds and whereas money market means like commercial paper certificate of deposit treasurer papers that 90 days papers is there that all are will come into money market and who can invest in mutual funds here mutual fund accordingly investable surplus of a little has few thousands rupees can invest in mutual funds by buying units of particular mutual fund scheme that be defined investment objective and strategy so who will who want to start their savings with less amount they will invest in mutual funds how mutual fund work for you so the money collected from the investors is invested by the fund manager in different types of securities so this could range from shares and debentures into money market instruments depending upon the scheme stated investment objective the income earned through this investment and capital appreciation so whatever the investment and capital appreciation realized by the scheme is shared among its unit holder in proportion to units owned by them here they will giving what they are providing should we invest in stocks or mutual funds so if we have knowledge on the market if you know the market if you know the terms of the market then you can may go for the shares but you do not have any knowledge on market if you do not know the terms of the market so you do not know the strategies of the market so whether the price is going up or whether the price is going down you don't know about the nifty 50 about nifty 50 or bank nifty so if you are investing in money it is not a correct so it then it will be better mutual funds so as soon as you have set a, your goal and desire to invest in equity the question arises so do you how invest in stock or mutual funds well you need to decide what kind of investor you are so based on your kind means what kind of investor based on that you need to adjust first consider if you have kind of disposable invest to invest 15 to 20 stocks that this means that how many stocks you will in how to invest if you want to create a well diversified portfolio remember the familiar advantage here don't pull all eggs in one basket if you have only 5000 to invest it would impractical to invest it's across many stocks at your own normally what uh, um, uh, quote will be there the don't put all your eggs in one basket but if you do not have more money if you have less money to invest then it is impractical to invest in across many stocks now many beginners means at the time of starting they will focus on stocks market price which have less than 100 rupees or 50 rupees that should never be criterion to choosing the stocks because this brokerage fee is there na broker fee fee some companies will charge on percentage fees and some companies will charge on this um uh, the fixed amount 20 rupees or 25 rupees something they will in at the time of my my me started at a stock broking company stock broking franchise so they will charging percentage basis so if you buy one transaction i will get the commission and if you sell one transaction i will get the commission so that is there in uh, when i started the business of franchise stock broking franchise so some companies directly char- I means they will charge some percentage na if we charge one percentage and on that one percentage 
सेवेंटी फाइव पर्सन विल बी शेयर टू मी द पर्सन एंड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सन विल टेक बाय द कंपनी विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द फ्रेंचाइजर देन द पर्सेंटेज सो सम कंपनीज विल लाइक आई थिंक जीरोदा में भी जीरोदा में भी कलेक्ट अमाउंट एंड ए फिक्सड ट्रेड अमाउंट सो वाट एवर द ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट इट विल कलेक्ट ट्वेंटी रुपीज बट दिस अनदर कंपनीज विल बी If you are purchasing hundred rupees into two percent or three percent, so the it has option to use that rate by this broker who has taken franchise. So I have the option which percentage I can put. So based on that percentage, I will get the seventy five percent and the remaining twenty five percent will get the company. For that franchise, we need to pay some fixed deposit. We did not get any interest on that fixed deposit and. so on the other hand you need you paying means if you are going for less amounts you are buying and selling you are buying and selling at the end if you see whatever the revenue you will get that revenue eat by your expenses that is brokerage commission you will not get any amount even though you get profit but actual you cannot get the any amount let's see affordable to invest only 1000 rupees in a stock then if you have less money and it will be a continuous monthly monthly amount then you may go for the sip that is systematic investment plan has matter of financial discipline here you need to pay systematically monthly 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 amount then it will accumulate more amount when it came so do you have the time to pick stocks or you need to invest considerable amount of time reading newspaper magazines annual reports and quarterly updates industry reports and talking to people who are familiar with industry practices so here won't catch a trend or pick up so sometimes the company may be the stock market may be in bullish trend or sometimes it may be in bearish trend so don't go with the trends so only go with the knowledge so if you have knowledge you can enter into stock market if you do not have the knowledge you can go with the mutual fund or this systematic investment plans when here you need to assume you know what you are doing you have skills to pick up right stocks you are likely to better at investing and industry understanding so then only you need to go for the equity or if you love the thrill of ups and downs in the stock market if you find yourself training to business channel and business newspaper hoping that you can pick the next multi bagger stock like infosys if you have an instinctic of spotting stocks and importantly the discipline to act on it or if you have the emotionally maturity to cut your losses when the stock prices are no diving and then you can trust yourself to invest in the stocks otherwise hands over your money to the professional manage money managers multiple funds you could be best avenue for the risk averse investor next now we need to know about the classification of mutual funds here we have three types one is open ended another one is closed ended and another one is interval funds so sir open ended funds means what open ended funds means the investor may come at any time may go at any time there is no uh conditions so that is open ended fund where has closed ended fund it is like a bagumati adda so you could not come at any time you cannot go at any time they will give some time and they will give the maturity period up to that maturity you need to stay in that fund only and some interval funds in interval funds what they will do na for for example in closed ended funds they will provide one 10 years maturity period so up to 10 years no person is entering and no person is go for the outside for that type of funds they will allow every year first january to 15th there is interval period you may come and you can may redeem they will give the one option to this investors at early yearly they will provide that is internal funds this is open ended fund exit or uh, enter or exit any time and capital fund unlimited and redemption will period will be indefinite period normal normally this uh, mutual funds are in open ended 
ओपन एंड ओनली वेर एज प्राइवेट इक्विटी इट विल बी एन ओपन एंडेड ओनली हैंड दैट अनदर फंड विल बी देर दट हेज यू फंड इट विल बी आलसो ओपन एंडेड फंड दे विल फॉर प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड दे विल प्रोवाइड द इंटरवल फंड इन सब टाइम्स दे विल नीड एंड आफ्टर दैट इंटर इन्वेस्टर्स स्कीम्स वाट एवर द इन्वेस्टर स्कीम्स आर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ओपन एंडेड एंड क्लोज एंडेड स्ट्रक्चर दिस स्कीम्स आर ओपन फॉर बोथ परचेज एंड रिडम्शन ड्यूरिंग द प्री स्क्रिप्ट इंटरवल सो प्री डिटर्म प्री स्पेसिफाइड इंटरवल इट इज इंटरवल फंड नाउ यर फॉलोइंग पॉइंट सो एट ए प्रिवेलिंग बेस एन ए बी बेस प्राइज इंटरवल फंड आर सिमिलर टू क्लोज एंडेड फंड बट डिफर द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन देर इज नो रिक्वायर टू बी लिस्टेड ऑन द स्टॉक एक्शन हैव दे हव इन बिल्ट रिडम्शन विंडोस दे डू नॉट हैव द Uh, any they do not have they do not have the restriction to listing stock section because they have inbuilt redemption window will be there and where had they can make fresh issue of units during the specified interval period at prevailing nav and maturity period is not defined so for the interval fund maturity period will not be specified so every year they will come and every year they may go from open ended any time you may come any time you go for and close ended they will give certain time period next portfolio classifications means funds are classified into equity funds debt funds and special funds so equity funds means invest primarily in stocks the shares or stocks represent a unit of ownership of a company so If a company is successfully, our shareholders can profit in two ways. One is stock price may increase. Stock price may increase, or company can pass its profits to shareholders in the form of dividend and bonus. So, company may share the dividend and bonuses. If company fails, a shareholder can lose the entire value of its or her shares. So, however, shareholders is not liable for the debt of the company. Next, equity funds. Now, equity funds means equity funds of the following types. We have three types of funds. One is growth fund, and another one is aggressive fund. Another one is income funds. So, growth fund means what? They seek to provide long-term capital appreciation to the investors and best suited for long-term investors. So, we were staying for long-term. They will provide the capital appreciation. So, in between, they will not sell. so at the time of maturity they will sell the asset value will be more that capital appreciation will get and aggressive funds here for example if you have 100 you are investing in 60 in equity and debt it is 40 then you debt this one debt this is equity this is aggressive so when you are how money that money is using more on equity it will be aggressive or when you have 100 rupees and you are using for uh, 40 is for equity 60 is for debt so it is conservative so it has equity means aggressive funds they seek normal return for which investment he is made in startups or ipos and speculative shares so these are suitable best to investors willing to make risk and income funds here you will get the income they seek to maximize present income of investors by investing in safe stocks which pay high dividends and high yield money market instrument they are best suited to investors seeking current income so now debt funds means in debt funds we have two types one is bond fund for bond funds what is there in bond funds they invest fixed income securities fixed income securities means that uh, government bonds or corporate debentures or convertible debentures or money market instrument etc etc here investor seeking tax free income so so tax free income they will seek go in for tax free bonds or with those who have safe custody and income from government bonds or high grade corporate bonds so also there have past exp- exceptions bonds fund bond funds tend to be less volatile than equity mutual funds and often produce regular income so for this reason investors often use bond funds to diversify so provide stem incomes or invest for intermediate term goals or however like equity mutual funds bonds are also following risks so what are the risks will be there interest rate risk credit risk will be 
देयर एंड इंटरेस्ट रेट मींस मींस दैट दिस रिस्क रिफ्लेक्ट द फ्लक्चुएशंस इन मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड कॉन्सिक्वेंस सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ द कंपनीज इंटरेस्ट रेट इज चेंजिंग इन ऑलरेडी वी हैव बॉन्ड्स सो दे आर इन बॉन्ड मार्केट सो वन बॉन्ड मार्केट इज देयर एंड वन बॉन्ड्स आर ऑलरेडी इश्यूड द बॉन्ड्स इंटरेस्ट रेट वाज 6% इज द बॉन्ड इंटरेस्ट रेट ओके दे आर नाउ गोइंग टू issue another bonds which value will be 8% coupon rate so what the can do the investors who are invested in this company they will redeem the old bonds and they will try to purchase the new bonds so that when interest rates are changing the bond price will decrease because the old bonds all are selling new bonds are all are buying so demand was increasing for new bonds then new bonds price will increase and where has old bonds price will decrease that is interest rate risk will be there next credit risk here this risk is similar to risk of default in repayment of loan or payment of interest or both by the borrower of the fund thus this risk takes place when we have mutual fund invested money in the bonds of the company which defaults in payment of interest or principal here this risk is higher in case of company with lower credit risk so if the company has lower credit rating then it has higher risk so who will provide this uh, credit rating credit rating will be provided by this credit rating agencies that moody or एन एन पी हैंड और क्रिसल और क्रेडिट साई दिस कंपनीज विल प्रोवाइड द क्रेडिट रिस्क दियर नेक्स्ट प्री पेमेंट रिस्क सो इफ यू आर कंपनी हीज पेइंग प्री पेमेंट मीन द मेच्यूरिटी वाज फाइव इयर्स एंड इट हैज पेइंग एट थ्री इयर्स सो दिस रिस्क इज रिलेटेड टू एर्ली रिफंड ऑफ मनी बाई इश्यूअर्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स बिफोर द मेट मेच्यूरिटी देन इट हैज दिस जनरली हैपन इन केस ऑफ फॉलिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट्स when a company who already issued bonds at higher interest rate issues fresh bonds at lower interest rate so company is issuing lower interest rates then they will pay new old bonds at prepayment so a right of early redemption will be available when only the company will have callable bonds means companies in options we have options we have one is call option and one is put option in call option company will get the right to buy the shares or bonds at any time before the period before the maturity date and where has in put option investor will get the uh, that investor who is investing in the money he will get the right to sell at any time next after that reinvestment risk so when interest is falling rate the companies will give redeem that amount and they will go with the another fund and the investor who will get the money they will bear this reinvestment risk because they will get some 8% as of now because interest rates are decreased company is repaying now we, we will ready to pay the ready to invest in less interest next another one will be guilt fund this fund invest into treasury bonds or debt trade securities issued by the state or central government next other after that special funds the special funds are four types one is indexed fund here indexed fund means every stock market has a index or basket of shares means we have nsc na in nsc how many companies will be there 50 companies in bsc we have 30 companies so that nsc nifty nifty 50 and basket of shares which represent the economy of the country at large index is barometer which highlights the upward and downward sentiment of the stock market so in the index each every share has specified weightage and an aggregate basis so it will be 100 it will become 100 the fund get invested in the stock exactly in the same weightage which it bear the index so generally index funds are low cost funds these are low cost funds as they are passively managed funds the fund manager he is not managing its actively but if can it can influence the stock market index funds deliver the same return what is the market delivers now for example nifty 50 index funds will invest into 50 stock 
इंडेक्स ऑफ निफ्टी इन द सेम प्रोपोर्शन इट बेट्स एंड विल डिलीवर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली द सेम रिटर्न व्हाट इंडेक्स डिलीवर्स नेक्स्ट आफ्टर द इंडेक्स फंड्स इंटरनेशनल फंड इंटरनेशनल फंड मीन्स ए म्यूचुअल फंड विच यू राइज मनी इन इंडिया बट इन्वेस्ट इन ग्लोबल सो दे विल राइज मनी इन इंडिया दे विल गो फॉर इन्वेस्ट इन ग्लोबली ऑफ्शोर फंड्स ऑफ्शोर फंड्स मीन्स ए म्यूचुअल फंड्स लोकेटेड आउटसाइड इंडिया विच राइज मनी ग्लोबली फॉर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडिया मीन्स इयर द ऑफ्शोर फंड्स अनदर नेम विल बी फीडर फंड्स सो वू कैन इन राइज द मनी एंड दे विल फीड द मनी टू मास्टर फंड नेक्स्ट सेक्टर फंड दे इन्वेस्ट देयर इंटेयर फंड इन पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर दट इज वन सेक्टर दे विल सेलेक्ट and that sector they will invest that is the main case and after that this money market funds so money market funds means what short term bonds so money market means it is uh, less than 1 year or 90 days whatever the cases so it is deterrented mutual fund scheme to get the fund next fund of fund already one fund is there we will invest in fund of that fund so i think so some network issue is coming here so i will continue with this in next class